Remove any object all with a simple brush stroke. This is a tool called in painting and this is all about object removal. You remove an object in your image and then the background is painted in to give you a complete image. Now doing this on one simple like photograph is quite complex, but if you think about doing this across 24 images or 30 images every second, it gets really complex, especially when you think about blending all those images together to give you a seamless look in a video clip. Seems quite difficult. This tool is created by a company called Runway and they're marketing it as a magic tool. The magic behind this tool is really AI and machine learning tech. And they say right here, it's gonna let you remove any object from any video with just a few simple brush strokes. Today, I'm gonna be testing this out. So if you're a videographer, I'm sure you've had an instance where you frame up a shot, everything's looking perfect, the composition, the weather, the framing, but then you have one single thing that's just ruining everything. That could be like a power line, airplane flying through, a tree, buildings. You can always have a person randomly in the frame just that just stares at the camera like they've never seen a camera before, it ruins your shot. So last week I actually went to Paris, shot a bunch of video with the specific purpose of using those clips that I shot in this program to see how it holds up. So without any more rambling, let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so this is the dashboard of my Runway account. And one really cool thing about this is that it's a browser-based tool, so you don't have to have any special software. All you need is an internet connection and an account. You can sign up for a free trial account to give this a go. Over here in the left, you'll see in painting. I'm gonna click on this. Over here in the top left, you'll notice that this is still in beta. So at the time of this recording, which is late March 2022, uh, it's still currently in beta. Now I've uploaded a bunch of clips already. If you wanna upload a clip, you can simply drag it and drop it here, or you can click on this upload button here. And I'm gonna try to start off with something that might be a little easy for this tool. So I'm gonna grab this here, it's some graffiti. So there's some graffiti on this little souvenir stand here. Over on the right, you're gonna see the magic tools section. It gives you a little tutorial tooltip thing here. Brush over an area to begin in painting. It's really quite simple. Over here are your brush controls. You have mode, you have include or exclude mode. You have brush size, so I'll crank this up and you have view and the mode is result or mask. So you can look at your mask. Down here you have a timeline. You can see that this is like a six second clip. And then up here you have some navigation tools. And right here you can look at various keyboard shortcut keys that are really gonna help you out. Now let's give this a go. I'm just gonna draw over this graffiti here. And as soon as I release, it's gonna start the process. It's gonna add a keyframe and then it's going to try to, what I think it's doing is propagating along the entire timeline. So it's gonna add a keyframe here, and you're gonna see it's only one keyframe. And now it did look like it worked on this particular image. However, again, video is made up of many images. So let's play it back and see what happens. Oh, by the way, all these shots that I took in Paris are all handheld. Now let's bring the playhead back over here, and let's see if I can just mask these little things out here. So I'm going to paint over that as well. Okay, that got rid of that. I'll paint over this one down here. Okay, looks like this one handled pretty well. I'm going to go click on this export in painting button. This is going to allow me to select different resolutions. Uh, you might not see the same thing in your dashboard because I have a premium account, so it might look a little different. Under format, you can see very cool. I can export for ProRes as well as a PNG. can rename it up here. I'm just going to export this video. And it says down here, export submitted, view it in the assets page. So I can go to assets here. And now as I go to assets, it tells you right here that it's in progress. So there we go, it's generating. Now, unfortunately, I think one of the benefits of this program is the fact that it's browser-based and it's you can do everything over the internet. But that is also one of the hindrances here is that I have not the best internet set up in my house. And this is kind of limiting when I'm trying to work here. Okay, so the, the color looks a little weird, but it doesn't look like it's flickering or anything. So it's not too bad. Up here, you can see a little bit of like wibbly wobbly, but did a pretty good job there and did a really good job down here. So you know what, I'm gonna actually go back and I'm gonna try it again, but this time I'm gonna make the mask smaller and like more tight. So I'll go around here, just take a little bit more time. Maybe I won't have just a big color blob this time. So let's just get rid of and every little piece here. Now let's see the results of that. Wow, impressive. Okay, unfortunately you can't be totally lazy and just do a lazy big mask around there, but this, um, yeah, this looks really good. Okay, now let's try something a little more complex. I've got this brick wall here with some more graffiti. Now I'm gonna go through here and mask all this out. And for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna speed this up here. 
Man, that's so incredible. Look how well it matched the patterns of the wall here. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and go for everything. I'm gonna change the brush size here and then go ahead and just try to paint out these other two elements on the side really quickly. Okay, now let's take a look at the final result. Here's the before and here's the after. Now you can see there's some flickering here. We have a lot of issues in this actually, but it's, it's still really incredible how this is working. And in fact, you, if you're using this to create like a clean plate, you know, maybe you throw like a light blur on here, super interesting results. All right, now let's have a go on a more realistic shot. So here I'm in a park. This is the spot that overlooks the Eiffel Tower. And there's a little statue over here. And right over here, we have this eyesore of a scooter. So if you ever come to Paris, you'll notice that there are these uh, scooters that you can rent all over the place. And you know, they really take away from the atmosphere in my opinion. So let's see if we can get rid of this. All right, here's before in painting and after. Very good results with this one. All right, here we have some chairs and this group of people. So let's see if we can zap all this out of existence. First, I'm gonna work with these chairs here. So let's, uh, just gonna paint this chair out. I'm just gonna paint this whole group of chairs out actually. So let's just go around like this. All right, that's looking good. Now I'm just gonna get rid of these people. Not really sure if it's better to paint them out one at a time or to do them as one big group, like, or if I should keep the mask tight around them or leave it a little bit loose so that the machine learning has a little bit of space to play with. You can see, I don't know how this one's gonna look because this background is very hard uh, and like busy. Okay, so here's the original shot and here is the in-painted shot. Now the chairs worked perfectly and here you can see the group of people. It looks like I missed a shadow. There's a little bit of flickering here and the trees aren't exactly straight, but that's an, again, that's an incredibly hard background to, to paint in. I can't even imagine trying to do this manually. I also wanna be clear here that for all of these examples, I'm only using one keyframe and I'm not refining the mask. So you can actually go back and add multiple keyframes in your timeline and refine the mask a bit to get a little bit of a better look. But I just wanna show you straight out of the box how this is working. Okay, here we've got this little tree next to the Eiffel Tower and I don't want it there. So let's paint this out. Okay, so here's before and here's the end painted version. It looks good at the beginning, but now it starts to fade back in. Here we go, classic garbage can in Paris. I feel like there's always a garbage can in every shot, so let's see if we can remove this one. This is a pretty simple removal. There's nothing in front of it or behind it, so this should be pretty straightforward. Here's the before and the after. Definitely see a problem with the shoe over there. I could go back and refine the selection. I'm noticing that with a lot of these, it's when it in-paints, it seems to have a hard edge and that's where you can almost spot it immediately. Now I actually thought this would be a perfect tool when it comes to skin retouching, and I gave it a little bit of a try on a clip that I downloaded from Shutterstock, and I just really couldn't get any kind of results at all, unfortunately. When you talk about pros and cons, it's really user-friendly with a simple, sleek interface. It's really cool that it is a browser-based tool, so you only need an internet connection. That's also one of the main cons, to be honest, as you saw in my example here. I don't have the best internet, so at times it would hang up, didn't really cause any major problems. However, it just slows down your workflow a little bit. But I mean, these tools already speed up your workflow so much that even the problems with the internet, it's still way, way faster. This is definitely a fun tool that gets you some impressive results. You should definitely sign up for a trial account. Go check it out, see if it works for you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well because in my next video, I'm gonna be talking about another tool from Runway that's all about quickly using AI tech to generate subtitles or captions, which is gonna be really cool. You know, not a lot of people need tools like this, like this object removal type of stuff, it's more specific, but subtitles and captioning, that's uh, something that everybody can use. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and that video will be out very soon. See you in the next one.